If you're tracking time in Trello, you may want to check out this new power up. In this video, I'm going to look at Logwork, a new time tracking power up inside of Trello, and I'm going to show you how it works and why you might want to check it out. First of all, you can learn more about it by heading to the power up directory and just searching for log work. It's going to come up here. Just click add power up and then you can select which board you want to add it to. I've already added it to my content planning board and you can see that cards will have a little attribute showing how much time I've spent on them. So the first thing is logging time, which you can do directly from the card here, or you can click the power up button and click log work and you can give a description working on video filming and log time. And so now you see you've got uh, different logs of things. You can see a log of everything that's happening here on the card. I can go ahead and add another one here directly on the card. No need to open anything up. Let's call this editing, add it on here, and it's going to aggregate and sum up the time here. So I can see directly on the card who's been doing things, how much time has been spent on it. If you click on display options, you can see exactly the options you have for controlling it. So you can change what you see on the front, you can change what you see on the back, and you can make it as detailed or as concise as you want. You can even open the log to get a direct listing of all the different things that have happened on it. And you can see each grouped by the board and the list. One of my favorite things about this power up, I'll show you more in reporting, is that it works across boards. So a lot of power ups are kind of scoped to a single board. Log work can actually calculate things across multiple boards. So maybe this is just one board that I have where I track client things. So let's take a look at the power up settings. If you click on this button up here at the top, you're going to get some more options to view this power up. You're going to see that this view is your log work view and and if you don't want to operate by card, but maybe you want to search for specific cards here or you want to look at cards that you know are assigned to you, you can drag them over here and you can assign times to them, add a description and do what you need to with that. So let's say uh, scoping, maybe I spent 60 minutes, a long time. I can drag things over and that's a really great way to do it if I want to keep track of it rather than having to go into each individual card. One of the cool ways to think about this is log work is kind of the input, right? This is where you can get all the data and you can control things like how far in advance people can log time if you want to control letting them log into the future or maybe you don't want them to be able to do that or maybe you only want them to be able to log time for things in the past. X number of days, you can control those in your settings. The next best part about this is the reports. So if logging is the input, the output is the reports, which is going to let you group all of this data by however you want. So you can see that you can group it by users. So maybe you need to keep track of how much time someone spent on something and you can have a secondary breakout that shows it by card or by board or however you want that to look. You can also look at a board report. So maybe you're trying to track time by project and you want to potentially, maybe you want to secondarily break that out by users or you want to secondarily break that out by uh, any other sort of field. You can group that however you'd like in here. The other interesting thing to note is that if you have any other sort of fields on here with any fields, uh, there are other power up for adding custom fields to a board, you can filter and slice and dice by that too. So this can be really handy for reporting if you're trying to get a vision of what all kind of work is happening across different dimensions and how much time is being spent. Lastly, I want to show you this card report. It's really cool because you can actually see how many members are on a card and how many of them have logged time. So you can see one of one members have logged a card on this time, but maybe no one has logged time on this card despite there being one member assigned to it. So that's a good clue. You may need to reach out to them and make sure they spend some time on that and get them to log their time. One of the really cool things about this log time field is that you can control what details people add when they log their time. So for instance, maybe you want to create a new field that lets you log uh, things by client or by a specific project or category. You can add things in here to say uh, category type, and you can specifically say type of work, and then you can define the field options. So it could be client or internal or however you want to log those. And then when you actually save that, it's gonna now show up as an option for when you're logging your time. So maybe I wanna go in here and I'm going to add another one. You can see I have my category type here and it's gonna keep those details for me. This actually works really well because they also have another power up called any fields. And it's like a custom field power up for your boards. 
there's a couple others out there you may have seen, but what's interesting about this one is that it actually preserves those fields across multiple boards. So if you move a card to another board, it's gonna keep those fields on there and you're not gonna have to create them on the other board or import or export settings. So that's actually really cool to see. And I'm really interested to see what these folks are working on and uh, keep up with the power up. It sounds like they're innovating and iterating all the time and adding new features. So if you have any questions or comments, drop them below and uh, they'll be watching these and making sure to keep an eye on it and would love to hear your feedback. So thanks for watching. And if you want more Trello content, check out my YouTube channel. I have all sorts of videos about how to do all sorts of things in Trello and I have a weekly Trello newsletter with tips and tricks and best practices for getting the most out of Trello. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.